again, YouTubers, Facebookers, Tweeters, freedom seekers, and human beings from all over the planet Earth. Uh, as you see here to the side of me, this nice little thing, you know, when there's all this stress in the world, I like to have a little chuckle. What the fuck is this shit? And I just reacted that way when I finally looked into some information. Now, I want to give you some background. This morning I got up, uh, this afternoon after many hours of no sleep. Anyway, uh, I got a message on Facebook from somebody who wanted me to look into something. And I couldn't even comprehend because I've, I'm doing all this stuff and I'm exhausted and I just got up. So I said, I can't even read it now. Uh, I'll look at it later. The same person tonight uh, came to Freedom Slips. Uh, and, uh, to go back a little bit before that, uh, a while ago, many of you have heard and maybe heard more than once that I took a stand. Uh, I'm sick of the bullshit. And that encompasses so many things, uh, many of which I don't even know what they are yet. But if it comes into my life, uh, I'm going to react on that. And I'm going to do what I can to change that. Uh, and, it, and even if it doesn't apply to me, if it applies to you, and it's an injustice to you, uh, based on truth and love, I'm going to react to that, and I'm going to try to help you if I can, suggest things, do things for you, uh, bring it to light. I'm also going to warn you that when we do this, we get attacked by the same people that are, are creating the injustices, so be ready for that. I won't get into the whole troll thing, but if you want to know more, ask me later. Uh, so anyway, this person came to Freedom Slips. It was this important to them that they came over there and called in to talk to me directly and I promised them uh, I gave them the recommendation to use change.org get it to me right away create the petition that'll give you a free user base of activists in general just on quick thought you know something to serve him right then with, and I couldn't give him any more than that because I didn't read but I, I made up my mind that this man put that much effort to reach out to me I was going to put it on my list so a little while ago after getting a few things done, I went over to Facebook to read his message. And then I went to the PDF link backing up and giving me some background. And by the time I read a page, I was so disgusted and heavy-hearted at this injustice, this poisoning by the U.S. government and, and its effect on this man and, and so many more, uh, I couldn't read on. Now, I'm going to bring you now, first of all, to the Facebook page of the man that reached out to me. Uh, and I'm going to ask you to support him in that way. Uh, sorry, I've got a mess. As you can see, I'm doing a hundred things at once. Okay, first I want to show you the message from Dennis Mudloff. I'm sorry, Dennis, if I butchered your name. I am exhausted. Uh, and another thing, folks, uh, I'll show you in a minute. Uh, but it says here, Kevin, here's the link that describes the premeditated betrayal at a former munitions plant in Grand Isle, Nebraska. Give me a link to a PDF. The cover-up is still on today, and people are being poisoned. Uh, if you think you would like to get involved, that would be great to share the story. If you want more info, please let me know or Google my name or check out my Facebook page. The pages of the book excerpt that is specific to my issue is seven pages into the document, page number 75 of the book. Thanks, Denny. And he gives me the link. This morning, I could not comprehend anything. Uh, I've been exhausted doing a lot of work. and I, So I didn't read this till after the show. But this man came over to speak to me specifically, and when I realized it was him, I came to look at this. Uh, he had also, I want to bring you to this uh, comment that Dennis left shortly after the show, before I got over here to Facebook. Uh, Kevin, good chatting with you tonight. I'm too tired to complete the petition, but I will do so tomorrow. And I understand why he uh, was tired, because... Uh, we were on Freedom Slips uh, 
you know, a long show, the round table event. Uh, we really covered a lot, and we were there till about 10:30 my time, I think. So that's uh, 9:30 my time, rather, and that's about 12:30 East Coast. Uh, I'm not sure what that time is for Dennis. Again, I'm exhausted, and I don't want to uh, do math. Okay, uh, so I just want to move over here. I want to show you just quickly uh, Dennis's Facebook page, and I will uh, put a link to that below. But I just thought I'd show you, let you read whatever the, uh, and I haven't even read his current post because uh, uh, I did go over, however, and start looking at the PDF, like I said. Now, um, this just gives you an idea of it. Uh, let me try to position this page so you can see it. Sorry, I'm ill-prepared. I did this. Uh, when I started reading this, I said, this cannot wait till tomorrow. It's 12.45 a.m. West Coast time. Uh, Dennis, I apologize to you for not reading it immediately. You reached out to me. I was exhausted. Uh, but you coming to the show tonight showed me, and I thank you for that, that this needs to be gotten on and without a minute to waste. Uh, excuse me, folks, while I just adjust things so that you can read them with me.